Hey everybody, this is the latest in my series on buried treasure within Power BI. And today I want to talk about selected value. And this is one of the most common DAX functions. It's used to harvest values from slicers, and it's probably in almost every report you create. But it's got an optional parameter that lets you do some really interesting stuff, and I want to talk about that today. Um, so the, the model we're going to be using is just based on the um, practice data set tool that Melissa DeCorte, Steve McGuire, and I developed. And it just pr it just creates a, a simple star schema. And today what we're going to be looking at is just the, the dates table, the channels table, and the sales table. And so what we've got is a simple case where we've got just a, a table of product and total sales. And we've got, let's say, a slicer panel of year and channel name. And let's say that this this panel goes off screen um, when it's done and that we want to mirror the selection in the in the channel within our report and so the way we can do that is with with selected value and this is the this is the most common the most common way of doing it is just selected value and then the channel name and you'll see that when we select distributor or export or wholesale it shows up here, but if we don't select anything or we select two or three things, then it shows up blank. And that is just a bad look for a report. It just makes it look unpolished. It makes it um, unclear. It almost looks like an error. Um, and so we can, we can do better than that. And the way we do that with selected value is in the, in the alternate parameter. So if we look here at the DAX guide, um, selected value returns the value when there's only one value in the specified column. Otherwise, it returns the alternate result. And the alternate result is that optional second parameter. And if it's omitted, then blank is returned. And that's what we're seeing here. But we can, we can specify an, altern an alternate result that kind of traps that blank error. And so here we've got a second case. And if we look at this, harvest channel with simple default. What we see is selected value, channels, channel name, the same thing we had in the first one. But then we have an alternate that says, if a single value isn't selected, we just say multiple channels selected. And that's better, that that, that then makes the proper selection when we have one, but then when we have two, instead of returning blank, it'll say multiple channels selected. And you can see that that, that also works for three. It also works for none. So when none is selected, that's treated as all three being selected. And so that, that, that's pretty good. But we can, we can even do better than that because one of the things you can do with the alternate parameter is you can apply complex logic. And so let's say what we want to do is we want that to return no channels selected when nothing is selected. We want to return the one when one is selected, a list of two when two are selected, and then when three are selected, we want it to say all channels selected. And so you'll see here, if we, we select one, that works properly. If we select two, it returns the, the concatenated list. And if we select three, it says all channels selected. So how do we do that? Well, the answer is that what we can do is we can use a branch default. And so we've got here selected value, channels, channel name. And then instead of returning something like a text parameter of multiple channels selected, we return a measure here. And this measure is some relatively complex logic here. So what we've got is we've got concatenated list, which is just concatenate X. And then it, it just concatenates all the selections from the the channel name field with a, um, a comma and a space in ascending order. And then what we've got is we've got an all channels, which is logic that looks at the number of, of selections made in the slicer and compares that to the total number of channels in the table. Um, so if the total number selected equals the total number of channels in the table, it returns all channels selected. So in this case, it's three. Otherwise, it returns the concatenated list. And then we've got the result here, which is 
if is filtered channels channel name and what that'll do is that'll tell us if nothing is selected so in this case if 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 is filtered is true that means something is selected and we go to the all channels branch and then walk through this logic about whether it's all or the concatenated list if it's false if nothing is selected it just says no channel selected and then returns that result and so what we can do is if we put that in the alternate parameter in the branch default then what it'll do is if we select one then this this condition will be true and it'll skip the alternate if we don't select one it'll work through the the complex logic in that channel list and you can see again that when we select one when we select none it says no no channel selected one gets us the the actual selection two gets us the concatenated list and three gets us the all channel selected so that is is a really powerful function you can use for error trapping and there are also ways that I'll talk about in a subsequent video that we can use that for debugging so I hope you found that helpful provide some real extra power to the the common selected value function and as always thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video hey everyone thanks for tuning in to enterprise DNA TV if you enjoyed the contents covered in this particular tutorial please throw the video a like it really helps us and we really appreciate it also don't forget to subscribe to the enterprise dna tv channel uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use power bi and the power platform lastly check out enterprise dna's website plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily all the best. Take care.